turn that off for a minute. Um, hey YouTubers, it is Rick. Um, some of you probably don't recognize me. Seems like it's been forever. But wanted to make this video, update video of sorts. Maybe kinda give you a few tips of things that I've learned in the last month. So, as you can tell, I've moved to a different room. And this room's kinda cute now. When I first moved into it, because it was a really, really small room, it was Barbie pink. And, whoa. That was like a nightmare. I think I lived in the Barbie pink room for like a week. And then I was like, uh-uh. Oh, hell no. And I went to Lowe's and I got paint. And because it was a small room, I wanted to paint it a really dark color. And then I made an accent wall of a really light color. And it sort of elongated the room. It worked well. But who knows? I'm talking about interior design. That's really weird. And I won't bore you with that. That's not the point of this video. Um, but yeah, so I moved. Everything's good there. Life's coming back together. It was a little bit iffy here or there. In the last month, well, probably for a couple months now because I've been a little iffy with making videos, but I've learned a lot in the last month. One of the biggest tips that I've learned and the reason why I want to make this video today is like my alpha liner here. This thing is going to hell and back in a hand basket. Like I am breaking holes into it. It's just not a fun situation. And in the summer, it really, really reeks. And I was bringing it in the bathroom and washing it. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to wash these every day. Ooh, it's a lot of work sometimes. But like Sandra Lee, the semi-homemade lady who cooks macaroni and cheese in a box and calls it homemade pretty much. But I found a good tip and it is called baby wipes. Now you have to be very particular because baby wipes, if they have fragrance, it's got alcohol in it. Alcohol will have some sort of chemical reaction to the gel and ruin the alpha liner and irritate your skin. All that good stuff that you don't want and so like this here i got these at the local pharmacy they're fragrance free baby wipes and i just sort of take one out and i wipe my leg down and cleans it up i mean i still clean it in the sink occasionally well like a couple like twice a week now and then all the other times i wipe it down with this and this actually keeps it very nice and feels a little gooey now and gross and you just let it dry out and it's good and then you could put it on when you're ready for it so baby wipes Biggest thing since sliced bread for me now, and I'd suggest if you've got an alpha liner to get yourself a box of those. Um, just trust me on that. Second thing, I'm notorious for breaking feet. I know, I don't understand why, but I break them like they're going out of style, and my prosthetist guy sort of vanished on me somewhat, but I guess that happens. Tip number two, always keep your prosthetist, or whatever we call him, on your good side. Um, my prosthetist, I guess, ended up eating the bilks. My insurance got weird, and now he got weird, and then I got weird, and now it's just a weird situation. So he doesn't return my calls, which probably breaks ethics, probably does a few other things, but me being a businessman and understanding business, I guess I get it. I gotta find a new prosthetist. But needless to say, foot breaks. I got this like three months ago, broke it. Very active 25 year old boy. Um, as you can see, I fixed it. Duct tape, as I've made another video about. Best thing ever. I love duct tape. And it comes in so many colors. If you go to like the local craft store, there's Joann's. Um, I don't know the other ones. There's probably Michael's, all of that. They have like a whole half an aisle on duct tape. I've just been in a zebra print phase, so don't judge. And so it works, and it keeps my foot intact. So duct tape, tip number three, buy a roll of duct tape if you're gonna be active and you're gonna break your foot. And try to anticipate what you're gonna be wearing because I'm wearing sandals now. And tip number four, flip-flops, uh-uh, doesn't really work. I tried, I got like some Velcro and did that whole little get up and it failed miserably. <laughs> so I ended up walking out of it, probably almost falling out of a bus. So I wear sandals that's got Velcro around the back and the side, it's like a gladiator type of thing. Um, gladiators are hot, right? So duct tape and it's just good for fixing everything and I guess actually I got to do some more up here because this is starting to come off but like I said you can get it in any color that you want so that's a good thing um like I said I'm just in zebra print still trying to convince my father to let me paint the living room with an accent wall in zebra he's not having that though it's kind of sad really so I just want to make this video give you a couple of tips here or there of things that I've learned in the last month uh, October will make two years since my amputation. I'm still learning a lot, which is kind of weird and sometimes shocks me. But hey, 
it's a learning thing. If you have any questions, send me a message as I'm now settled in a little bit here. Uh, definitely let me start making more videos, I guess. Um, tongue tied again today. But yes, yeah, so YouTubers, I hope you're having a good summer. And I am now. It's getting better. Um, Taylor Swift's coming out with a new CD, and I'm kind of very excited about that. The other day, I made my ex boyfriend Craig listen to We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. No, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. I made him listen to it and told him it was our song. <laughs> I know, I could be a bitch. But alright, so I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you for watching this video, and have a nice day. Bye.